Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today's Friday, August 25th. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we will jump into the trades for the week. So starting with volatility, some pretty wild swings in VIX. Thursday, big push up when stocks were selling off and then today uh, basically gave away everything that it, that it pushed higher on uh, the previous day. So some wild swings in VIX, which obviously means some wild swings in the indices as well. Uh, Wednesday, big push up. Thursday, big bar down and then a little bit of a bounce back today. Same with the NASDAQ. Uh, the Russell, a little bit tighter range sideways. And then the Dow, a little bit weaker to the downside. Gold and silver both pushed up for the week. Notes and bonds higher for the week. The 10-year yield sitting just above 4.23. Uh, oil kind of choppy sideways. Natty gas up and down. Uh, soybeans a little bit higher. Wheat sideways, corn sideways, uh, the euro lower, pound lower for the week, and Bitcoin still hanging around 26,000 lower after the big uh, drop from last week. Uh, all right, so that's the uh, look at the markets. Let's jump into our trades for the week, starting with zero DTE. How'd we do on zero DTE? Uh, not great, down 7,200 for the week. Uh, if we look at the different strategies, you can see. Uh, Rick still continuing to do well, undefeated in August, plus uh, almost 5,500. Uh, power hour ratio, plus 6,200. Uh, AM ratio, Monday, Wednesday, Friday trades, slightly down, minus 845. Power hour, tranche two, slightly red, minus 760. And tranche one, uh, slightly green, plus 930. Uh, Monday, quiet lunch, couple losses there, minus 6,300. Tranche three for power hour, actually the worst of the bunch, uh, down 10.5. Uh, AM ratio for Tuesdays, minus 2,800. Quiet lunch on Friday, basically a scratch. That actually should have been about a $1,200 winner. I uh, actually made a mistake on that one. Uh, and then PM iron condor on Wednesday, loser. Um, 9.25 iron condor, a couple winners there. The Dick K special plus 23.75, and then the PM ratio on Tuesday, plus 1,500 for the week. So not a great week for zero DTE. We started August off so strong. I think I had like a 30 plus thousand dollar week. And then the last few weeks have, have given, uh, given a bunch, bunch of it back. So hopefully this, uh, we bounce back next week and have a, have a good week. We are uh, we're pretty due in zero DTE land. Um, all right, so... Let's move on to our next setups, which would be dynamic butterflies. So the time flies continue to do well. One for plus 840, one for plus 650. We got a couple others open. Let's take a look at our open positions here. So first off, in rut, we've got a flathead woodpecker. Prices up here, we're actually up about $400 on this. For whatever reason, when I go into privacy mode on TOS, this this acts like I paid a debit for this trade, but I actually paid a, uh, or actually got a credit. So actually up on this trade, it's doing well, so nothing to do there. And then on our time flies, got a couple of time flies on. One of which is this one we put on today. Uh, it's down slightly. If it keeps pushing up, we will adjust that one. And then this one has already been adjusted, and we're currently up about 5% on our total risk. So if we, uh, barring a massive move over the weekend, we should be able to get out for a nice profit on that one on Monday. Dynamic calendars. Um Pretty break-even week on calendars. Let me make sure I get all these checked. And give it a quick refresh. All right, so uh, minus 945. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a uh, uh, nice winner in six sevens. Uh, that was a $680 winner. Small loser on a 3.5. TGIF minus 3,300. That was... When we took off on Thursday, unfortunately, had we held it a little bit later on Thursday when we had that big down move, that would have been a nice winner. But uh, all you can do is what you know at the time. So we closed that out for loss. 
Uh, BNB minus twelve hundred on that one. We had a, a five hundred fifty five dollar winner on a two four, six hundred thirty dollar winner on a BNB, two sixty on a BNB, eleven twenty on a BNB, uh, four hundred eighty five on an NDX uh, single calendar, and then the rest of these are open. So let's check out these open positions. And we've got a TGIF that we put on today. And that's up just slightly going into the weekend. Uh, the others I have in a different account, but I've got a 3.5, uh, a 3.7, three three seven, and a 6.7 DTE double calendar. So uh, the 3.5 the, uh, and the 3.7 will take off Monday morning. And the 6-7 we will take off on Wednesday. All right, so those are the dynamic calendars. On to the option selling. Oh, no. Iron Ducks. Can't forget about the Iron Ducks. Uh, just no closing ducks, but have uh, several open. And we opened up one new one this week. So if we look at... So we've got two in SPX. We've got this one here with a SEP5 expiration. It's in good shape. And then we've got the one that we just put on. And that's pretty close to where we put it on. We're up a tiny bit on that one. We've also got one in rut. That one's well up the beak, doing fine. And QQQ, this one we will take off. Uh, this has a SEP1, so we'll take this one off uh, early next week. Right, so that's it for ducks. No NTT trades this week. OSS, uh, option selling, and hedgehogs. Uh, had a nice week here. Booked a $2,800 winner on a NASDAQ hedgehog. Had a little scratch $20 loser on a gold reverse hedgehog. $337 winner on an MES short strangle, $1,700 uh, loss on a 6E short strangle. So that, I think that was our third, only our third loss of the year for short strangles. So, uh, but had to take a loss there. Uh, we did put on another one in 6E. So let me show you our other options selling open positions. Here's the short strangle we've got on in 6E. Due to the, the skew in this, we've been doing ratios. So two puts to one call. Um, bring this up a little bit in oil. We've got a couple positions, one of which is a hedgehog. It's doing well. Uh, nothing to do there. And then we've also got a short strangle that's up a few hundred bucks in oil. In ES, we've got a hedgehog uh, that's doing nice. It was doing nicer when uh before the bounce today but still doing just fine gc we've got a reverse hedgehog in gc need a little up moving gold to benefit that one and then our uh this one is from a, a hedgehog we already booked profits in but we're just holding this as kind of a lottery or we'll let it expire mes we've got a short strangle here we're about halfway to our profit target after adjustments on that one. Uh, NASDAQ, we've got another hedgehog. That is right here. And that one's doing just fine. ZS, this is our short strangle in soybeans. If we can get just a little bit of a down move, we'll, we'll be getting close to hitting our profit target. So we should be able to take that one off next week unless we, unless we get a big move. Uh, QQQ, we've got, I showed you that duck, uh, VXX would be the last one. So we've got a couple of verticals here. Uh, already took off half of this one when it was down here for 50% of max profit, holding the remaining half. And then this one that we've been holding, uh, it's come back into range, up a little bit of money. I'm looking for 50% of max profit on that one as well. So those are all the trades. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Talk to you next week.